Announcement time. As with last week, just a reminder that in-person gatherings are cancelled until further notice, and the stuff we had been talking about, like Joint Good Friday, baptism classes, these aren't going to be happening right now. Um, hopefully you've been on Facebook and uh, seen the new groups that have started up there, and if not, I'll encourage you, as I did last week, um, to go there and to sign up. There's a group for prayer requests, a group for practical help, just to let us know if you need help and someone can can meet you in that place of need. Um, and there's a third group now for laughs and encouragement and community. Um, I mentioned last week that we had some thoughts about different ways that we can do online community and online outreach. And we are still working those out, but you should keep your eyes out for those emails and those invitations and the questions of what you'd be interested in and what you'd want to be involved in. Um, those should come out both on Facebook and on the email blast. And if you aren't on the email blast and you'd like to be, uh, just email the office, or there's actually, a, you can sign up directly on our webpage. You can go to timbers.org, um, and there's a place there to sign up for the newsletter. I know that Brenda, our prayer ministry leader, has been organizing some online prayer meetings, and if you are interested in those and aren't finding out about them, um, the pr Facebook is one way place to look, and the other way to get those that information is to join our prayer list, and that too, you can email the office, and we'll make sure that you uh, get connected there. Um, the other announcements, one is just the reminder of offerings and tithes being part of our worship, being something that the Lord has called us to do and something that, that we at Timbers uh, use to do our ministry. And so as always, prayerfully consider how the Lord is leading you to give and remember that all that you have is his, that we are stewards and called to use these things as he directs. The other announcement is that I get to welcome Dave Dave Dreger from Lakewood Alliance this morning, who's going to be preaching. Um, I've been teaching online this week, doing an intensive course with Pacific Life Bible College, and uh, so Dave has graciously stepped in to fill the pulpit this morning. And even though I can't, um, you know, put my hand on him as he's standing here next to me and pray for him, I am going to invite us to pray together uh, over the service this morning and over Dave as he preaches. <clears throat> so let's pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this morning. I thank you that we can come together and worship and that we are united in your spirit um, and in the bonds of peace. And I thank you for Dave, who is coming to preach. I thank you for your word that we get to sit under. I ask you to bless Dave as he speaks, that you would open our hearts and minds as we hear, um, that you would be powerfully present with each of us in our living rooms or offices or wherever we're, wherever we're coming from this morning. Meet us, we pray. Come Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's worship together. <clears throat> 